What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a slightly different episode as I'm playing a tournament with a local tournament trail called the Grint Tour out here at a private course called the Palencia Club. The Palencia Club plays over 7,000 yards from the tips, has six different sets of tees, and some of the most gorgeous practice facilities you've ever seen. It features tons of water, elevated greens, lots of slope, some deep bunkers, and beautiful views of the intercoastal waterway. Located in St. Augustine, Florida, the Palencia Club is one of the most premier private clubs in the area. Members of this course get to enjoy some of the best practice facilities there are with multiple putting surfaces, multiple chipping greens. Palencia is a top-notch facility in the area. Now, obviously, the membership is a little out of my price range, and that's why I'm really grateful for organizations like Grant Tour that come in and are going to host tournaments at places like this that gives me the opportunity to play some of these really nice courses without having to cough up the money for a membership. So if you're not familiar with Grant, it is an app for your iOS and Android that offers a social media aspect as well as a handicap system and a way to track your stats, all real handy on your mobile device. It has a free platform that gives you access to the social media and an estimated handicap. Effectively, as of 2022, if you're on the lower pay tier, you get access to the USGA handicap system making it official, and if you're on the upper tier system, it unlocks all the stats and all the tracking information that it has inside the app. It's pretty clean, it's pretty easy to use, and it keeps track of your score while you're playing. It lets you review all of your stats, and it even has a leaderboard so that if you're in a tournament, like on Grint Tour, you can review the live scores of all the different players in the group all from your phone. But on top of the app, Grint also offers what they call the Grint Tour, which hosts a few majors around the country throughout the year, and then local tournament trails in a bunch of cities throughout the country. These tournaments are extremely fun. They're flighted, so depending on your skill, you can get put in a flight with golfers of your skill. So it's you don't feel the pressure of trying to compete with golfers 10 strokes better than you. It makes for a very, very fun experience. The guys that play in these tournaments are a bunch of fun, and I can't wait to get out and make more content with the Grint Tour. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So with that, we'll let the tournament director tee us off, and then we're going to show some highlights from the practice round, because I didn't film a whole lot during the tournament, because I was honestly trying to win it. Ball 48 tee time, first up, 10, no home. Oh. Get there. Oh, I didn't hit it. Maybe I did. Slow down. Oh! Look at that wind, boy. Oh! I mean, I think it's been high, though. Get up, 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 up. Stay right there. We'll cut on it. Oh! Just bounced off. Oh, hole eight, and Brian's on a bunker the size of a divot. That's about all I can do out of that. 
All right, I'm currently three over my handicap. Uh, not playing too, too bad. I feel like I'm actually doing pretty well until I took a triple on the last hole. Uh, Brian's having a rough go of it, but, you know, he just got back from his honeymoon, and he's got a baby on the way. He's got more important things than golf right now, so it's understandable. Um, we're going to play a couple holes without the camera. going to try to make the turn and, you know, kick it back on later and just focus on golf for a little bit. Need to be in that tournament practice mode. So, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of this type of content. making the turn uh, plus one on my handicap today. Currently tied for second in my division. So I'm gonna try to hold up, keep it going. Feeling like I'm playing okay today. The wind is ripping. It is not making it easy out here. So this is my good friend, Al. He's a regular out here at Palencia Club. He is a high single digit figure handicap with a very deadly short game. If he could just figure out how to extend his reach, he could be a real predator out here on the course. I did, I caught part of the tree. out if you got it far enough down yeah if i carried over the corner it's going to be great but if i uh come up short it's going to suck So I shot 95 in my practice round. I thought it was a pretty good score considering how tough the course is. I had just come home from California all full of myself and thinking I knew how to play golf and I was going to win the Creators Cup and then I'm going to come back and win the Grant Tour and I'm going to win all of this, that, and the other. And then, you know, y'all saw the wind on tournament day, man. I got hit in the face with 20 mile an hour winds and it checked my ego fast. So <laughs> I did not play very well for the tournament round. I was tied through the lead. Uh, on the front nine and then on 10 I watched my playing partner putt from off the green all the way to the hole and then it rolled all the way back to his feet he did it twice so obviously that got in my head I babied a chip instead of over the bunker it went in the bunker and then I you know chipped one over the green trying to get out of the bunker and then I think I three putt or something silly I ended up taking a quad which mentally screwed me up on the next hole it took like a triple and then like four holes later I hit one in a bush and I was I didn't want to give up the unplayable strokes. I tried to hit it out, and then things just quickly deteriorated from there, and I was trying to hit like eight or nine from the fairway. So I ended up just picking the ball up to get out of the way of the players behind us. It was getting dark. We already were questioning whether or not we were going to play all 18 without it getting dark that day. And I just I didn't want to hold up my playing partners or the groups behind us. I wanted to be respectful to the tournament and the golf course and everybody else. So I just... Pick the ball up. So that means I got a big old DNF on tournament day. It did not finish, uh, which absolutely sucks. You know, that's not really the way that I wanted to, that's not the way I wanted to go out. But, you know, sometimes you got to take the L. Other than that, Grint Tour is awesome. I cannot wait to get out and play more tournaments with them. Uh, their access to private courses is absolutely phenomenal. And it's a good way to play some of the best golf in Jacksonville is through this tournament trail. So I'm going to do a lot more of that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more like it in the future. And if you want to see more of this Grint tournament, or if you have any ideas on how I should go about filming these Grint videos in the future, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, because I was a little confused on how to do this, right? It's a tournament and I want to win, so I don't want to goof off with my camera. I was thinking about doing something like a couple weeks before the tournament and do like a a stroke by stroke, hole by hole preview of the course for all the guys that are going to be playing it or, you know, something cool like that to kind of hype up the tournament before it starts. You know, maybe do a video afterwards like this is that's just kind of like a highlight reel. But at the same time, like, I don't know, like, should I do two videos for every tournament? That might be a bit much. I don't know. It'd probably be three if I did 18 holes and broke that into two videos and then did a video after it'd be like three videos. So I don't, I don't know. Sounds like a lot to me. Uh, but what do you guys prefer? Do you like these highlight reels? Um, do you want to see like some tournament footage? Do you want to see, like, what do you guys want to see? Let me know. And uh, that way I can try to make the type of content that people want to check out. Other than that, guys, hope you like this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.